Hello everyone, Dubs here with Dubs 3 New Models. Today I wanted to go through one click line. It's a Blender plugin that I created that's pretty simplistic but powerful tool. Uh, it allows you to have a single vertice inside a Blender and expand out that vertice by drawing out shapes. Um, and it gives you like a CAD style top down view of like a 2D image or using the Blender's default grid to build out custom shapes really quickly um, instead of utilizing the native tools in Blender. Today I wanted to go through installing it and some of its use cases to try to show you how you can use the one click line tool. Um, so let's get right into it basically. Uh, if you've never installed a plugin in Blender before, uh, this should maybe help you a little bit as well. Um, basically, I have a blank scene, so if you are just starting out in Blender, you'll have a bunch of stuff in here. Don't worry about that. Um, you can just hold shift on the keyboard, highlight everything, or box over it here, um, and hit delete and have a clean scene. Um, Next, what you would want to probably do um, is come over here to Preferences and go to your Preferences area. Uh, these are all the settings, but there should be an Add-ons tab. You'll make sure and click on it. It'll turn blue. Uh, it'll open up a dialog box here. These are all the Blender plugins, add-ons that you have that are default. Um, and if you've ever installed one before, uh, you can probably skip ahead to some of the use case area on this video, um, but if not, and you're still with me, uh, you can install an add-on into Blender by clicking the install button here. Nine times out of ten, most people's just probably sitting in their dumb, uh, downloads folder. That's where I have mine right now. So. Um, You'll just click on the zip folder, no need to unzip it or anything. Just click on it, make sure that it's selected in the box. Click install add-on. It should load up right away um, and allow you to enable it by clicking this checkbox right here. Uh, if you want to check out some of the description and the location of it, it is tucked away in your end panel. Uh, that's where it resides at and that's kind of where you work from. Um, so if you want to ever customize that in panel or move it around, that's on you. Um, but we should have it now installed. If you have not familiar with the in panel, it's literally in on the keyboard. So if you hit in on your keyboard, you'll notice uh, I have a couple of different other tools right now. Uh, machine tools, uh, JMesh, and a couple of other. Uh, you'll notice now you should have a one-click line tool that sits in your M panel and allows you to work off of it off right here on your end panel in the top right corner. Um, so now uh, it's got two buttons inside that panel. One is to actually start to draw uh, the line, and the other one is to weld verts together. Um, weld verts together is basically like it says it creates and uh, welds two vertices that are spaced apart together into a central location um, merging them into one vertices or connecting the vertices it's usually used to connect the shape at the very end typically um, so if you hit draw line right out of the box um, what it's going to do is it's going to orientate you to the z-axis facing downwards so um, you can have like a CAD view. Um, with that, you'll notice that you can, um, there's this little orange dot right here in the center. That is the vertice that's created right out of the box. Normally, um, you would do some magic with adding a box, merging, doing all this stuff. Um, One-click line 
allows you to just click the button. It adds a vertice. Um, you can hit G on the keyboard and move that vertice around wherever you would like. And it will stay on the Y and X axis at all times at this point. Um, allowing you to freeform and put this vertice wherever you want. Uh, you're also welcome to grab the, the move tool um, and move it this way as well uh, more precisely using the arrows to kind of match up um, certain spots like on your grid or something specific on a reference image. Um, so from there you can extrude by hitting E on the keyboard and you can see how we can start forming some freeform shapes real quickly um, with the one click line tool. Um, this is what I was mentioning whenever I was talking about allowing you to draw freeform shapes and you could totally edit this right now. I can move it up, I can move it down, um, but this gives you kind of a CAD style basics view um, of creating shapes and images. Um, sorry, not images, but just basic shapes inside a blender that are not a cylinder or a spear or whatever the built-in native tools are for it. Now, the weld verts, as I was talking about, is this portion here. Um, you're uh, basically left with an open gap. Um, when you're done with these, and no matter what I do, if I wanted to do E and I wanted to build this right on top of here, you're still not really um, putting these two together, no matter how close I zoom in. So to fix that, uh, that's why I created the weld verts. Um, you can also do M on the keyboard and at center. Um, that's, a, that's a single way, but it, it makes you have to click a button. Um, by, you know, first I got to highlight on both, and then M, and then click, double click mouse. Um, so I that's why I click the weld verts. It's easier just to, you know, hold down shift on the keyboard and hit the weld verts. So you're not selecting a couple of different options. So one less click is a second faster when modeling and repetitiveness. Um, so that's what this tool is trying to help mitigate but also create something and uh, innovated at the same time so typically to form a shape then I'll just hit A on the keyboard and then always F on the keyboard will fill whatever that surface is um, or vertices and basically what do you get is a flat surface face um, that will then allow you to E and extrude these faces, um, you know, creating a custom shape of your liking, basically. Um, so, a lot of times, you know, uh, you want to create like an eye beam or something. That's where this comes in. Um, so one tool issue that I'm facing right now that I will point out right now if you ever hit draw line and um, you're not able to move anything um, it's because you don't have the vertices selected you're still on like face or edge selection you need to swap to vertice selection um, so that's one caveat. Uh, I will try as I go over time and, and programming. I understand more. I will try and mitigate these issues. Um, the second issue I know of currently is if you're in here and you forget to get out of edit mode and you go to um, create another line um, from here, it's going to add just a box and it's going to error out on you. Um, so just be forewarned of that. I need to program some conditions inside this code that will allow it to not do that aspect when you're in edit mode. Um, 
meaning it won't execute the function, it'll just not do anything. Uh, but that's with time and development, so um, buy the make sure and buy the, the app and that'll help support me, it gives me more free time, you know, to develop this tool uh, to a better tool. So anyway, um, like I said, I'll use it sometimes to draw like an I-beam. Uh, maybe I'll use like the grid here and I will just draw myself a quick I-beam out here like so and there and there and, and this is where I use the weld verts I'll hit A F on the keyboard and we're off to the races. E to extrude. I got a nice clean I-beam here started out. Um, a low poly I-beam. Uh, so uh, other use cases like I said you can quickly just draw out you um, something uh, real quick. You know, I wanted to go out here. I want to draw me a shape real quick. Um, you could probably do lettering with this if you had the patience. Uh, custom lettering, probably. So, that's going to be a big old shape. Uh, it would probably be good for building aspects. Uh, if you started out from the top down uh, of a building, you'd create a couple of different customized buildings. You know, maybe we could subdivide this surface a couple of times. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, I could take all these. I could hit I. I think it's I, and then I again. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and we could do like some windows here, E, you know, um, and get some kind of building going on here pretty quickly. Um, like I said, uh, it has its use cases in that aspect. Um, the secondary use case that I have for it, um, is I'll typically add a reference image. I got a couple here on my desktop, some parts and things that I've worked on. Uh, it works really well for reference images, so I'll just smack out, draw a line. Like I said, if you have that issue, just pop it over to vertices. Um, then you just hit G on the keyboard. And I can set it right there. Uh, I get a little bit more precise with my actual gizmo, and then I can do E. I'm going to spank this up pretty quickly because I don't want to take a ton of time on this. Um, you could get super detailed or you could get not detailed on polys here. Um, I could cut the corners, make this low poly if I wanted. And just using this here, here, there, there, and then maybe I want to go on back here. I want to add some extra detail here. So I want to get pretty accurate. I'm trying to follow that image there. And I'll just keep sliding it on down here. And uh, this basically is just controlled off your mouse here. And each time I'm just hitting E to extrude out. E to extrude and then I'm clicking once to drop the vertices where I want them. So I just click E, click, E, click. And then I'm going to get it right there where I want it, kind of close. And I hit my weld, move it over. 
I'm going to hit A on the keyboard and F. That's going to fill it out real quickly. What that'll do is that'll give me a good shape. And I can come in here and hit E. You know, maybe um, apply all our transforms real quick. Go back to edit or actually object. Um, maybe I throw on a bevel. There you go. Got a nice little bevel form to it. Uh, we're getting close. You know, right there out of like just a few minutes I'm getting kind of close to something um, that looks like a snorkel. You know, um, those are one case uh, you can do oh I don't know add Im image reference I got some tread patterns here and quickly bust out some tires here uh, set our draw line make sure we're on vert mode G to move it set it right there on the edge maybe get a little bit more we hit E, extruding it out and just clicking where I want it, clicking, right clicking mouse each time that I want to place a vertice. I want to connect these up here. When I want to connect them, I just hit weld. Come back to C. I do A to select them all, F to fill them. And I can tab right out of here. I can hit draw a line, G to move it, place it where I want it, E to extrude, right clicking to drop the vert, right clicking to drop that vert, drop that vert, there, there. Got those two. We'll just weld them. A on the keyboard again, F to fill, tab out. Hit draw, line again, G on the keyboard, move it over in place. Weld the verts, A to fill, F to fill it, tab out, hit another draw line, G, E, E. Maybe weld those. A and fill. Tab out. Do one more. G. Let's put it there. There, 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 there. there. A F and we got something going there. I can just quickly grab all these, join them together. Control J. Do you edit? Let's grab all their edges. Eat extrude them down. Maybe throw on like then. Another modifier, let's throw on an array. Set this to zero, we need it to move up here. And there you go. And we're moving on with tread pattern. Um, that's an easy way to kind of, another use case that I use it for. Um, so as you can tell, uh, one click line basically is just a drawing tool um, that's a little bit more advanced than having to press a couple of buttons. It kind of speeds up flow of how you're making things um, and modeling. So it's a handy little tool. Uh, it can be powerful in certain aspects. Uh, it's a lot of my tire models and things like that are utilized um, this way. So, um, if you enjoyed, you know, 
make sure and head over to my website, check it out, leave some reviews. You'll be able to download and purchase one click line from over there. It'll have all the install instructions and some of the other general information that you're probably looking for. Um, so maybe shots and things like that. Um, so yeah, head over to the website, check it out as well. Um, so hope you enjoyed and happy modeling everyone. Peace out, dubs.